This is a project I dug out of the closet. I made this uh, two or three or four years ago. It is a Raspberry Pi with a seven inch touch screen with an IQ audio DAC inside. And I mounted it inside a 1950s Crosley tube radio. Uh, I gutted the tube radio out and the, the seven inch touch screen was a perfect fit. I didn't have to do any modifications at all. I just put an L bracket on the back and I'm running Logitech Media Server on it. And I got a dog licking my foot here, so forgive me. Uh, the reason I dug this thing out of the closet is because I bought a set of those Radio Shack Minimus 7 speakers. And you may notice that I got a set of Spindor LS35A speakers underneath it, uh, which are, of course, far superior. But uh, I'm just playing around with these Minimus. Uh, I always wanted a set of those when I was a kid, and now I'm not a kid anymore, so I get what I want. So, uh, again, here's what we got. It's a full touchscreen. I can go back and select uh, whatever I want. And uh, really turned out nice. Uh, here's another dog in the way. And below it, this is my Pioneer SX. I think this is a 750 or 780. Crap, I don't even remember what I got. Uh, it's a 780. And I don't have it hooked up to anything right now. Uh, below here is my Bottlehead 4 Play 3. Have it hooked to a Dynaco ST70 that I completely restored. I broke it down, had the chassis re-nickled, and I put boutique parts in it, and I completely rewired the thing and everything. It's a beast. It's a wonderful machine. This is a Fisher 500B that I bought years ago. There was a guy named Paul that ran a shop called Busy Bee. I had him restore it and align it and he put ore caps in it. It's got all the original Telefunken tubes in it. Uh, also a beast. And my other LS35A over here. But uh, this thing's a lot of fun. This little project was a lot of fun. It wasn't that hard to build. Doesn't sound that bad either. Still be on my feet I'd still be